Okay, well, in this video, let's have a look at how easy it is to set up um, a, a quick poll. So if I just go to my back office here, I'll just close that down. Um, so installing, it's very simple. Once it's installed, you've got this settings page here, which controls um, you know, the, the way the pop-up will display and so on. So if you, if you just want to have it in test mode, you don't have it enabled, so you click that off. You can choose whether you want it to run on mobile phones or not. Um, you can choose which pages and so on that you want it to pop up on and which ones you don't. There might be certain pages on your site that you don't want it to pop up. You can choose the frequency. I've got it set here to the first 100 visits just so that I can you know, easily demonstrate it. You might want to have it set to the first one visit only or choose to only display it every 30 days for people to keep coming back to your site. Okay, now the display text settings, um, if I come back here, this section in the top here, so this is our header and our pre-header if you like, is this here, the headline. Um, quick survey question, I could change that to say 30 second poll, um, or I could change it to say please help. All right, whatever you want to put in there basically is the header. Um, save those changes and I'll show you a quick preview of that. Okay, and if we go preview, please help. Okay, so you can customize the header and um, the instructions there. Um, the instructions, you can put in your own instructions, you don't need it to be too long. And the option text, please click your choice. Okay, we'll save that. So it's fully customizable, and as you can see, it's super easy to use. Um, click on the live preview here okay please click your choice so it's all very easy to uh, customize um, so what else do we have here for you we have the visual effects so you can set you know how high how wide um, how long the delay is before it pops up how fast it pops up um, and whether you know clicking on the background will close down the pop-up or not okay um, and you save changes and you can do a live preview so that's the basic settings for the uh, for the actual pop-up now if I go to you can then create multiple different polls within uh, the system so this is the one I've got what is your biggest question about losing weight um, and then if you go to poll options okay then you add in the answers that you want them to choose from and then the URL that you want it to redirect to Okay, really important, um, and it'll tell you then this, this pop-up has been displayed 11 times, and um, these are the percentages. Now, this is really important, right? This is obviously just a test that I've just shown you here, but what this will do over time is it will tell you that you know, let's say increasing metabolism became the number one thing that most people clicked on. You know, let's say that was 60% of clicks were on increasing metabolism, and some of the others weren't getting clicked. Well, what what that actually tells you is that most of the people coming to your site are interested in that particular topic. So you can then start creating more blog posts and more content around um, increasing metabolism. So not only does it lead them directly to a product to buy through you know the uh, URL section here, but it also um, enables you to get intelligence about who's visiting your site and what it is that they're interested in so you can customize your site even further in the future which I think is really exciting um, so go back to poll and we could add in, an, in a new poll let's, let's do a completely different question um, what stops you losing weight might be another poll that we want to take okay um, Oh, actually, that's the questions. Let me just pop that in the question section. Um, and we'll call this poll number two. Okay, save that. Okay, and poll options. Okay, add new option. Okay, we might put in, say, motivation. Okay, um, and I haven't got any... Uh, URLs here, so I'll just put in back to the main one there. 
you could use this as a thank you page so you might not actually redirect them to a product the URL could just be to a thank you page on your blog which says thanks for taking our survey and then you might have your top five recommendations for products for instance um, so there's all sorts of different ways you can use this but I think the most exciting way is obviously when somebody comes to your page here and they go oh you know I'd really like to know what exercises to do at home for fat loss and they click on that and then bang they're taken directly to a product that is all about what they've just told you is their number one question right? um, how to lose weight at home so um, you know I think it's absolutely phenomenal way to really understand um, what visitors to your site are looking for and then how to you know direct them straight to the answer they're looking for or a product or service so you can see how easy this is to set up um, if I come back here back to poll you can also do things like display options okay you might want to have it displayed or not displayed on all pages or all posts so I might just say don't display it on pages but display it on posts save that okay and now that poll will only display on the posts in the site okay so it's super easy to set up it directs visitors to your site takes them by the hand and leads them directly to the solution that they're looking for right? and the product or service becomes a lot easier to sell to them rather than them having to find their way through your site. So I hope you can see the advantages of it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.